they're an explosive team across the board. They have great special teams. They blocked four kicks, three for touchdowns. Um, they have a tremendous defense, you know, big and physical with great perimeter skill. Offensively, um, they're, they're, a, they're like Tulsa and Oklahoma in the sense that they're trying to get, you know, as many plays throughout the game as they can. It's what we call a NASCAR tempo, which is that frenzy two-minute tempo for really the 60 minutes. I mean, you look at their film, you know, the chains are struggling to get set every time because, the, you know, the tempo so, so, uh, so quick and so up-tempo. Up so, um, you know, they have great skill in the perimeter offensively as well. So, you know, it's a game where, you know, we got to get some big plays against their front because they'll take some chances with pressure, particularly zone pressure. And it's a game where we can't give up the big play um, because it's, a, it's an outfit that's not trying to nickel and dime you for 10 to 12 plays a, a, a drive. They're trying for the big, you know, the big shot every time they take the field. Obviously, it's it's a seven-game season right now, but our focus really it's a one-game season. I mean, our focus you can't look past today in terms of preparation. You can't look past um, this Saturday in terms of what's on your plate. I mean, our focus this week is on a good old Dominion team coming into our place, playing at home in front of our fans, and uh, you know, playing playing well enough to win the football game. So, uh, if we think beyond that, it's going to be a situation where you know it's just it's. It, it, the lack of focus is when something like that would really come up and bite you. So our focus this week and and uh, and really for the rest of the remainder of the week into Saturday is what what do we have to do to beat Old Dominion and then after that whoever we play next that you know that's the task at hand. I mean I think any 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 championship program um, you know you, you have to have great leadership and, and um, you know we're off to a disappointing start but I'm still incredibly high on our seniors um, all of whom work extremely hard we have they have great character. Tremendous work ethic. So, um, you know, we met with them on Sunday. With when nobody's pushed the panic button. Um, you know, all those guys know that that you know they're going to have to step up and be counted for. Um, you know, certainly this week that we had a great practice yesterday. And um, you know, the, the bottom line, it, programmatically, we we try and instill ownership with the seniors in everything we do. They're involved in a lot of the decision decisions we make. Um, really, kind of a benevolent dictatorship, but we're we're very much getting their input and. Uh, the more we can get the seniors to own the whole thing, you know, the, the more empowering they'll be, and, and hopefully the, the better we'll be for it. So, um, you know, this is this is a great opportunity for our seniors to show what they're capable of doing after Saturday's disappointing loss.